Hello, welcome to New Start Now. I'm Don McIntosh. We're glad you're with us and we're going to be talking about the heart today and heart disease. And joining us is Dr. Brian Schwartz, currently in Ohio. We're glad you're with us. You're a cardiologist, which means you look at the heart every day. That's right. Uh, thanks for joining us, first off. Well, you're welcome. And we're going to talk today about heart disease, but, uh, you know, people out there, there's a lot of people that heart, have heart disease in America. How many would you say there are? Um, over 100 million people have some form of heart disease, one out of five adults. So, in other words, for those one of five that are, are watching today or know someone that has heart disease, is it possible to stop or reverse it? Yeah, that's a good question. So much of modern American medicine is focused on just treating the signs and the symptoms. Mm -hmm. um, and in fact, when I went through my training, it wasn't thought to be possible to reverse the process. It takes 40, 50, 60 years to develop the plaque that leads to heart attacks and to heart disease. But recently, some studies have uh, showed, shown great promise at the ability to actually start reversing the plaque that's in the arteries. So it can be stopped and can be reversed. Well, give us some more good news, doctor. What can we do to see that happen? Absolutely. So, um, first of all, because it is a very slow process to develop plaque in the arteries, it's not going to go away overnight. But the good news is if you can reverse the plaque that's in there by even 5 or 10%, that can dramatically improve the amount of blood flow that goes through the heart. And so studies have... Uh, have shown that by being on a very low-fat diet, um, by uh, exercising and reversing the risk factors such as control of diabetes, obesity, and, and lack of exercise, um, by getting the LDL cholesterol down to extremely low levels, levels that used to be considered unhealthy. So LDL is the lousy density lipoproteins, the, the, the bad right. stuff, right? LDL, yes, is the bad cholesterol that leads to plaque in the arteries. So by getting that down, then what happens? Um, you, can actually start to absorb the cholesterol plaque that's in the arteries and gradually those arteries can open back up and expand. Well, someone told me that the real issue with heart disease is the uh, nitric oxide at the tissue level, or at the, right there, right next to the, the uh, you know, the, uh, what would you call it? The, the surface. endothelium, the lining of the heart. The lining of mm -hmm. those vessels. Is that true? Um, that nitric oxide plays a very important role in the regulation of normal um, capillary and blood vessel flow. But as plaque develops, um, that impairs the ability to, to release nitric oxide. And so the more plaque in an artery, um, the more impaired that is, and it doesn't have as much effect. And, but if you reverse it, can it start coming back? You get more nitric oxide? Um, studies are just beginning to look at that on that level to show that. Mm -hmm. But I would expect that as the plaque re reverses, that the capillary flow is going to improve, the overall flow to the heart tissue itself is going to improve. And uh, even a very slight change in the amount of blood that gets through there can be a big improvement to the, to the symptoms that a patient may have. So you can stop it and you can reverse it through, you've said, uh, diet and some other lifestyle things. Anything else that can help us? Yeah, a big trial in the, in the cardiology literature um, about two years ago was the asteroid trial. Asteroid sounds out of this world. What it, was happening? It did. We actually <laughs> took little ultrasound probes um, that could study the lining of the heart to mm -hmm. see where those plaques were and measured a group of patients that were on a heart-healthy diet as well as the potent cholesterol-lowering medications. And that was the first large-scale study that, could, that proved that you can reverse as much as 7% in a two-year period the volume of plaque in those arteries. Hmm. Just by diet? By diet that. and a potent cholesterol medication in that study. So you get that down rapidly and then you change your diet and it can just have amazing results. It can have very amazing effects. It, can someone be uh, become heart attack proof? Um, you can do absolutely everything right and still possibly have a heart attack. There's no guarantee. It's, it's dealing with probabilities. But mm -hmm. the more you put these lifestyle factors into practice, know your cholesterol, make sure your blood pressure is controlled, control obesity, exercise, and be on a good diet, it becomes um, much less likely that you'll have a heart attack. Any uh, final word on terms of stopping or reversing that you'd like to add? Um, basically, the, um, you should get your cholesterol checked at least once a year, know your blood pressure, know your cholesterol numbers, mm -hmm. and do what's necessary to get that LDL less than 70 the mm -hmm. HDL up above 45, although ideally it should be the higher the better, up above mm -hmm. 60. With exercise you can do that. With exercise it'll go up. Mm -hmm. um, certain foods, particularly a plant-based diet, and if necessary a cholesterol-lowering medication can have a big effect. So good news. You can stop uh, and even reverse uh, heart disease. The, uh, the evidence is coming in. We're glad you've joined us. There's more information on our website, newstart.com. 
Thank you, Dr. Schwartz, for being with us and taking time out of your practice. And we hope that as a result of today's program, you can have a new start now. Thank you.